Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm not really sure what I'm calling this look yet. I just kind of like get ready with me. But um, if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, then just keep watching. So starting off with the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, I'm just putting that all over my T-zone and then in the areas with larger pores, as always, I use the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. Alright, so moving on to foundation, I'm going to be using the Becca, it's called the Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. I love this stuff, my friend actually recommended it to me and it's seriously such a good foundation. I use the color Olive and it's full coverage so I mix it with the um, Becca Skin Perfector, or I'm not sure what they're called, but it's the, um, it's the Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal and I just like to mix it in with the full coverage foundations. Because I just feel like it just makes blending a lot easier and also gives kind of like a dewy finish um, but also I use it whenever the foundation is a little bit too dark for me I actually should have used a darker shade I shouldn't have used this one because since I've moved I'm a little bit darker and it's summertime so we'll make it work For concealer, I'm just going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is my favorite concealer. It's super lightweight but has pretty good coverage and I think it just blends so easy. So I'm just putting that um, under my eyes and then wherever I want to highlight. So my chin, the cupid's bow, and also my forehead. I'm trying out the Mini Beauty Blender. Um, I've had it for a while, haven't really used it. I don't like it as much. I just think it takes so much longer to blend everything out. I just prefer the larger one, but I mean, it's cute. So I, just, I decided to try it. So now I'm just going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to set the under eyes to prevent any creasing and then um, I'm going to use the MAC Yellow Powder to help highlight the areas so I'm just going to um, put a little bit more in the areas that I did the highlight basically. Okay so moving on to the eyes, I am going to be using Makeup Geek eyeshadow latte and I'm going to be using that in the crease and also as my transition shade as well. Um, I really love these Makeup Geek eyeshadows. They're super affordable and the pigmentation and just the quality is amazing. If you haven't tried them, you really should. Um, they're awesome. Next I'm picking up Mocha and that's going to be my second crease shade but I'm, I'm going to focus it mainly into the crease. I'm not going to bring it up as high as I did Latte um, and I'm just going to kind of add the color and then blend it out uh, with you know the brush that I was using earlier because this one's more condensed and um, better for the crease but just kind of add the color and blend it and just continue to add and blend until I get like the pigmentation and darkness that I want into the crease. I forgot to mention that Mocha is actually another color by Makeup Geek. Um, but for the lid, I'm going to be using this shade Amaze by ColourPop, which is another really affordable, like amazing brand. Like I'm super impressed. Um, but I'm just going to be using that onto the lid and I'm just using my finger to help because I just feel like the finger with shimmery eyeshadows the color payoff is a lot better when you use your fingers. So um, yeah, I'm just going to run that into the or onto the lid.
And then I'm just going to go back into mocha and just kind of help blend the um, crease again so there's not any harsh lines. I didn't pick up any more product though. So I felt like I wanted a little bit more dimension on the eyes, so now I'm just picking up Starry Eyed by Makeup Geek, and I'm gonna just place that with my finger on the center of the eyelid, just to create kind of like a little bit of a highlight. Um, the, the way it looks on camera, it looks more white, but I'd say it's more of like, um, I don't know, like a pinky kind of shade. It's really pretty. But um, yeah, I just decided to place that onto the lid just to create a little bit more dimension, and then I'm just, helping blend all of the colors out. I decided to go ahead and do a little winged eyeliner. Um, when I did this video, I hadn't really worn makeup in a while, so I was really struggling with the eyeliner, but I just went ahead and did it. And then I just went in with a little bit of Cocoa, Cocoa Bear into the crease, which is another Makeup Geek eyeshadow. Um, just because I wanted to warm it up, I didn't really, I felt like I was a little too cool so I just went in with that and now I'm just using um, the MAC what is this called give me sun bronzer all over the face uh, to warm up my face and kind of help the foundation blend in with my skin because it was a little bit too light when I added the uh, opal skin perfector to contour I'm just using the Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm just using the two lighter shade mixed together um, and just kind of putting it in my cheekbones and also on my temples just to um, help snatch my face, you know? So I'm using these same two shades to help contour my nose and then I went into the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette and I used the peachy highlight shade um, and I'm just going to use that to clean up under the contour and create a little bit more space uh, just because my face is a little bit smaller so I find that that helps create the illusion of a longer face. Now to highlight, I am just using Becca Opal Highlight. Um, I really need a new highlighter brush because I just feel like this one just gets the highlighter like everywhere. But I guess I want to glow so it's fine. Um, but yeah, just using that where I want to highlight, um, under the chin, I mean on the chin, on the cupid's bow, and also down the center of my nose. For blush, I'm using Wild Honey by Becca and I'm just kind of just placing that right in between where I did the contour and the highlight. Now I'm just going in with just a clean stippling brush and I'm just going to help use that to blend everything out. I did set my face with MAC Fix Plus, but I guess I just didn't record that. So anyways, I did that and now I just curled my lashes and put mascara and falsies on them. And then I went back into that eyeshadow that I used in the center of the lid called Starry Eyed. And I'm going to use that to highlight um, the inner part of my eye, but I'm also bringing it down into like the inner corner area of the eye like I don't know I want to say like a fourth in a fourth of the way in um I don't know how to explain it but anyways I just used that eyeshadow and then I'm just going to go in with the same colors that I used in the crease earlier so I'm going to use mocha a little bit of cocoa bear and then um latte to help blend everything out and then I also added a little bit of white eyeliner into the um waterline as well I really need to start getting better at uh, looking up when I do my bottom lash line because half of these, like, you can't even see what I'm doing. So sorry about that. I'm, like, not even in the frame in half of them. So <laughs> I will try and work on that. The bottom lashes, I used the MAC Extended Plain Mascara. And then to line my lips, I used MAC Spice. I didn't record that part, but that's what I used. And I'm just using Taupe. Um, as my lipstick. It's like it's a matte color and then I don't know. It's like a warm brown. I really like it I really like browns. I've noticed <laughs> But yeah, that's what I used as my lipstick I 
All right guys, so here is the finished look. I still don't know what I'm calling this. Maybe a glam daytime look, but um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.